Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I'd go over my top 10 favourite Dolby Atmos soundtracks to showcase your home theatre system. I have selected the following movies based on the three criteria. How immersive and enveloping they are, how well they utilise each channel, and how well they harness the full potential of the object-based sound of Dolby Atmos. There are of course so many great Atmos soundtracks, it was a hard task to choose just 10. But remember, this is only my personal choice and it will be subjective. So without further ado, here is my list. We start off at number 10 with 2018's A Quiet Place. Even though it's a quiet film by nature, the devil's in the details with this one, as the Atmos track intelligently exploits the movie's clever sound design enhancing the sense of fear and apprehension and leaving the viewer on the edge of their scene. Subtle ambient environmental effects such as birds chirping, rustling leaves and gentle winds all occupy the soundstage effectively during quieter moments, before leading into the film's more intense sequences. When the aliens are on the hunt with every authoritative footstep and growl coming through the surrounding height speakers with a striking sense of directionality, whilst also emphasised by some great thumping LFE. The scene where Emily Blunt is in the basement and the alien is on the floor above is a standout and a great scene to show off to friends. When done right, horror movie atmos mixes can be fantastic and really enhance the experience and this is a perfect example. Coming in at number 9, Sam Mendes 1917. As we follow the two lead characters traversing the French countryside across the abandoned battlefields and through the trenches, the Dolby Atmos soundtrack has plenty of immersive qualities on offer. Key events throughout the movie, such as two planes flying over at around the 20 minute mark, a bomb blast in a German bunker in chapter 6, and a sniper rifle shot in chapter 15, are among the highlights of this mix, producing great heights and surround channel engagement. Thomas Newman's score comes through with superb clarity and low end depth, nicely completing a wholly immersive Atmos mix. At number 8 we head into space with Damien Chazelle's First Man. This Atmos track is all systems go right from the film's opening test flight sequence. Clanks, rattles and Armstrong's heavy breathing encompass the soundstage along with some thunderous bass response from the engine thrust. And the same can be said for all the rocket launch sequences, which make for great demo-worthy scenes. The track also has a nice amount of atmospheric ambience, background commotion and beeps and bustle in the NASA control room, nicely engage the rear surround, and music fidelity and spacing is likewise first rate, with a terrific score by Justin Hurwitz. This is a fantastic highly engaging atmos mix that effectively puts you in the hot seat right next to Armstrong with an out of this world experience. At number 7 it's Mad Max Fury Road. As soon as you put this disc into your player, you really will be repeating those famous words. Oh what a day! What a lovely day! This is a rip roaring, full throttle thriller of an Atmos mix that bombards the listener with almost constant chaotic action packed effects. The voices in Max's head, the roar of the V8 engines, the thunderous war trucks and explosions and gunfire all fill the soundstage with absolute mayhem, side by side with some vigorous and aggressive LFE. When the action does pause for a brief second, there's still a nice range of atmospheric activity on offer, with the gentle winds of the desert subtly accompanying the more intimate conversations. All in all, this track is a pure sonic assault on the listener, and effectively drags you into the mad world of Max Furiosa. Up next at number 6, 2019's Midway. If you want a movie with frequent overhead action, look no further as this film has full on and engaging aerial action sequences that make for an exciting and thrilling listening experience. Planes gunfire, missile launches and explosions roll through the height and surround channels and are all accompanied by a hefty dose of floor rattling LFE that gives extra weight to each effect. It's certainly a great disc to have in your collection to showcase your system. Coming in at number 5 is Gravity. The DTS 5.1 mix is a solid track, but the Dolby Atmos soundtrack takes it a step further, with a better sense of spatial awareness and more precise directionality, leading to improved clarity with the dialogue and effects. You just need to sit back and watch the film's opening sequence to hear the improvements that the Atmos mix has to offer. With the voices swirling freely throughout the soundstage, enveloping the listener, and Stephen Price's musical score colliding perfectly with the chaos. 
Healthy base response also contributes to the drama and tension with outer space debris collisions and some pulsating skull elements. It's not easy to obtain this Atlas track on the physical media as it's currently only available on the rather pricey Special Edition and Diamond Lux Edition Blu-rays. Though things are about to change slightly as the Warner Brothers 100th Anniversary Volume 4 Blu-ray set that was announced recently includes Gravity and it's also going to feature the Dolby Atlas track. Although it still will be quite pricey so you'd have to see if it's worth the outlay or whether you'd go for one of the special editions. Other than that, the track is also available to listen to on select streaming services. At number 4, the 2014 war movie Fury. Fury's Atmos mix is sure to give your system a great workout, with its almost constant barrage of highly immersive surround and high channel activity, enveloping the listener in the frightening sounds of battle with gunshots, explosions and planes flying overhead. The LFE also packs a significant punch and digs ultra deep, with rumbling engines, thunderous anti-tank rounds and devastating mortar blasts, all enough to shake you and your house foundations to the core. This is a great one to test out a brand new subwoofer. Up next at number 3, it's Top Gun Maverick. If you want to smile as big as Tom Cruise is, get on the highway to the danger zone and check out this reference quality Atmos mix. This track will take your system to Mach 10 and then some. Jet engines roar through the soundstage with pinpoint accuracy and deep bass response. Debris convincingly rains down on the listener from above and gunfire comes through with a striking sense of realism. The star-studded soundtrack featuring the likes of Lorne Balf, Hans Zimmer, Lady Gaga and One Republic is also a key highlight of the mix and sounds terrific throughout. A stellar Atma soundtrack, accompanied by some incredible visuals, makes this one a must-have. At number 2, Denny Villeneuve's Dune. Dune's visceral sound design makes an incredibly immersive Atmos mix, where each environment has its own unique sense of space. Each action-packed effect has appropriate weight and nuance, and each conversation, whether large-scale or more intimate, is captured perfectly and can be fully appreciated. Subwoofer output is deep and aggressive, the ornithopters, hand-to-hand -hand combat fight sequences and the voice, all nicely producing a vigorous reverberating rumble. Hans Zimmer's score has a great sense of presence in the soundstage, freely utilising the front, rear and height channels effectively. This is a true demo-worthy Atmos experience and it was a tough decision not to put this at number one. Before I do reveal my number one, here's a few honourable mentions. First up is Everest. I feel I had to mention this Atmos mix as it's got such a great level of immersion, with blustery winds whipping through the soundstage, ice cracking with good intensity and directionality, and snowstorms, avalanches and a helicopter effectively engaging the height channels. This track is sometimes overlooked, but it's definitely one not to miss out on. Up next is the Batman. This is an Atmos mix that's as vigorous and aggressive as the Caped Crusader himself taking no prisoners, and it's all summed up in the demo-worthy Batmobile chase sequence, with fantastic surround channel panning and roaring LFA. There's also atmospheric ambience aplenty, with heavy rain and background chatter coming through in some of the quieter moments, and Marco Cicchino's score is the icing on the cake, with great clarity and presence. And lastly, the Adam Project. It may be just a Netflix stream, but this one really surprised me. It's got some punchy bass response, especially when Ryan Reynolds is wielding that lightsaber. That's a lightsaber, dude. Some great slam channel engagement, such as in the chase sequence, and some clever uses of the height channels with jets and ships flying overhead. Music sounds terrific as well. Some of the pop songs, such as Gimme Some Lovin', come through with some nice bass tones and fill out the soundscape effectively. If you've got a Netflix subscription, it's worth checking out. And finally at number one, it's another Denny Villeneuve epic, Blade Runner 2049. With so many great Atmos tracks now, it was a hard choice, but Blade Runner 2049's Atmos track has got it all. From subtle ambient atmospheric sounds to the more bombastic effects, it's got fantastic dynamic range. There's a great amount of intelligent high speaker usage, the intercom voice in the baseline test, the movements of the hologram projector, and the never-ending rain are among the many effective uses throughout. Music plays a major part in the atmosphere and scale of the movie, and Hans Zimmer and Benjamin Wolfish's haunting score, inspired by Evangelis, 
with an incredible cinematic presence. Utilising each channel impeccably with resonating LFE, pieces such as the spine-tingling Mesa are exhilarating, completely enveloping the viewer in the mesmerising sound. If you've never seen it or haven't had the pleasure of watching it in Dolby Atmos, this one comes highly recommended. So that's a wrap for my top 10 Dolby Atmos soundtracks. Now it's your turn. Let me know your top 10 list down in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys. Enjoy your movies. Bye.